Hey theologians, and welcome back to Coffeeology with Alex, episode two. I'm sorry about last week, I couldn't get any video out because it was Christmas and I was really busy celebrating the birth of Christ with uh, my friends and family. I hope you had a great Christmas and a wonderful New Year's, because uh, I know I did. We shot a lot of fireworks and everything. So, today we're going to be going over justification. Uh, first, I have a few definitions to run by you, and then we're going to get what that means to the average bear like me and you. Justification is the action of declaring or making righteous in the eyes of God. It's the, purpo- the purpose of justification is to reconcile us with God. It's the legal concept meaning to acquit or to pronounce righteous. Now, justification doesn't just focus on who you are, what you do, how you do things. It more focuses on having a right relationship with God. Because if you have a right relationship with God, then it's going to go over into your character and who you are and what you do. The love of God is going to transfer over because the love of God encompasses all things. Now, in Romans chapter 3, verses 27 and 28, it says, Where then is boasting? It is excluded. Because of what law? The law that requires works? No, because of the law that requires faith. For we maintain that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. So, the believer is justified by his or her faith in Christ. It's not faith by works, as it was saying. It was faith, I mean, justification by faith. And what justification is, uh, to put it in simple terms, is that switchover point. Provenient grace builds us up to the point of justification, and then we switch over to where we can have that right relationship with God. It's it's that turning point in somebody's life where they can contact and have a real relationship with Jesus. Now, I have some pictures over here that you can look at. This is before justification. It is a man that's obviously in prison. It's a person that is in trouble. He wants to get out of prison. He wants to do the right thing, but he can't because he's got this ball and chain. He's in jail. He's surrounded by sin, and he is sinning constantly. And that's before justification. And a lot of people think that when people get justified it changes just kind of the outer appearance. It's like God saying, nope, he's done, he's good, he didn't do anything. It's like God covering his eyes and then he's, he just kind of doesn't look at the sin. Well, that's not how it is. And this is what people think that is. They think you're walking around in everyday clothes. They think that you're um, going just kind of doing your own thing, but you still have that ball and chain. But God doesn't really see that. He covers his eyes and he ignores it. He's just kind of like a person looking the other way whenever something bad is happening. This is not it. This is not justification, okay? What justification is, is a complete and total change of who you actually are. Uh, It's where God looks at you, declares you righteous, and then you are righteous. God doesn't cover his eyes and look away. God points at you, says that you're righteous, and then you are. This is you with justification. All right? You with justification are righteous you take that next step you have that switch over point and you can have that right relationship with God um, that's justification in a nutshell God pointing at you saying you're righteous and then you are so if you made it this far in the video 
please like because obviously you did like the video because you didn't turn it off. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment because I need comments so I know what to do my next videos on. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Jesus loves you and I'll see you again next week. Bye theologians.